welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be showing you how to slay this wig from the beginning to the end I love this wig it's, it's everything I just put this on and I'm telling you I am given so many looks so if you guys like the way this wig looks please continue to watch hey guys so I basically just threw this wig on and as you can see it's not customized so I'm gonna go ahead and customize it it already looks nice but I want to make sure that the edges look really good all well, the baby hairs and stuff so i'm using the got to be glue and a rat tail comb and i'm gonna go ahead and lay those down as you can see i'm just putting it at the perimeter of my head um and this is just gonna ensure security because this glue well this gel it, it's kind of like a glue so it's gonna make sure that this stays on all day And as I lay them down, I'm making sure that none of my edges are out and making sure that everything is tucked under this wig. This wig does come with a part. You can kind of see it at like at this part of the video. But I decided not to do the part. I just was not really feeling it and I kind of was in a rush. So I kind of just, you know, finessed it. So right now I'm just laying down those edges that are already like kind of pre-plucked. Well, kind of there already that are, you know, flyaways. And then I'm going to go ahead and lay down those edges that I make myself. I'm just ensuring that this is secured. I'm like making sure that it's secure. I'm like placing the rat tail comb so that. It could like, I don't know, like place it down and lay it down really flatly. And as you can see, I'm starting to pull out those um, baby hairs that I'm about to do myself. When doing your baby hairs, you want to make sure that you're not making the baby hairs too thick. You also don't want to make them too thin because this is going to just make it look fake. Also... When you're doing it, want to make sure that you kind of like measure it out like a few times just so that you have it right. I'm using the comb side of the comb or the teat side. I don't know what you would call it, but I'm just going to be using that side to just kind of swoop it up right into the hair so that it can look like you know, natural. For the baby hairs, I'm using a razor to cut them. I like to use the razors rather than the scissors just because I feel like the scissors kind of cut it too straight. The razors kind of like di diagonally cut it. So I'm just going to be using that. Alright guys, that is the finishing look. I just slayed this wig, yo. I did the the edges look really good. I didn't even think there wasn't a come out this good. Um and yeah, like this is so pretty. Um I hope you guys like it and yeah, be sure to um I will be coming up with uh how to style and multiple styles you can do with this wig. Um and of course more wig reviews, so please be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button for whenever I post. And don't forget to um, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. And I will be sure to put all of that information in the um, description box. And I will also link where you can get this hair as well. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.